Jamie from Inky and Scrappy sharing with you today some ink blended stencil backgrounds, mixing some stamp companies to finish them up into full cards. And, you know, of course they're about chickens. So to start this one, I'm bringing in Tailored Expressions freebie for the month of June. I resisted and resisted and resisted and finally at the end of the month I was like, mm, I really need that chicken stencil because it was really, really cute. So I got my order and of course I had to play with it right away. So I'm starting with that first layer. I don't know if that's the first one, the second one, the third one. I just pick one of the three and go from there. So for my first layer there, I went in with some vintage photo and then I'm coming in with some tea dye. Sorry, I missed that first stenciling. It, my camera was full and I had to. It doesn't tell me when it's full, so if I don't look up, I miss things. It is what it is. And then I'm coming in with some fired brick for the crowns on the top of their head. Are they called crowns? Crows? I, it doesn't sound right to me at the moment, but I can't think of what the actual name is, so. It is what it is. And then for my second one, so I did my first panel and I was okay with it, but I really wanted to do multi-colors here. And so that's what I'm going to do for this one. So I didn't clean off this one for the black because it's black. So it wasn't, it's just gonna add a little bit. My sex links chickens kind of have a brown tint to them. So that was kind of where I was going with that one. And then, but before I can come in with that lost shadow, I do need to clean my stencil. So I just used some rubbing alcohol. I have it in a little spray bottle. I sprayed it, kind of buffed off it a little bit. It wasn't totally clean because I didn't, you know, like make sure it was all the way clean. I just needed it to be clean enough that it wasn't going to mix with my lost shadow. And that way I can use the stencil right away without waiting for it to dry. So with that stencil set there is a clear combo now I did not look at the back of my stencil packaging to see maybe where I was supposed to use those stamps at and so this probably could have turned out better but it's you know, basically it's background so it was all good I really hadn't decided what I was doing with this one I just kind of wanted to play you know use the new things all of those things and then I the only thing with this one is I did not like where my faces went so I think if I would have actually looked at the back of the stencil I would have realized which faces went on which chickens yeah I know it is what it is and so this took some time to do all the little stamping and flipping out and you get to see the back of my head a lot because trying to line up those clear stamps over the stenciled background takes you know that over the head look so I did come back in with a fine liner and kind of touch up where I wasn't great at my inking and then for my second one here I was like you know what I'd actually finished that one the night before and this one I'd come back to the next morning or the next day and I was like you know what I just want to doodle so I just came in with my fine liner and added chicken legs chicken beaks and chicken eyes and some wings and so this one was a little bit more fun and playful and I think I really like the hand doodled background a little bit better I don't know it is what it is but to each their own and this way I could do some funny looks you know do some forward facing faces and you know maybe one or two looking backwards it was it was all good so it's an option I wasn't too big on the little three lines above and I think the little three lines above on the stamped images were just basically to help you line up where the face was supposed to go on them and so and maybe that's why I had issues because I didn't know which face went with which chicken. I'm sure I will pull this one out again because it's a chicken stencil and it was really cute. I'd love to do some fun colors. Now for my cards, and I probably should move this around, but I probably won't because I think we're kind of all over the place in this one. So for one, I had just picked up the Lawn Fawn Build a House Beach add-on. And when I saw it, 
all I could see was that there was, you know, the stilts that the beach house is on. And I'm like, ooh, I can build a chicken coop with that. So, of course, that's where I went with this one. I did bring in the Build a Barn set from Lawn Fawn as well. Cut off the top of my barn and just using that bottom portion. And then bringing in a, I think it's Build a Plaid stencil from Trinity Stamps, just to kind of add the lines or the look of either wood siding or steel, whatever, just to give it a little bit more definition. I did come in first with that barn red, and then I'm going to move my stencil here a little bit to kind of give it a little bit of a different so the red and then which ends up being a little bit lighter and then that black I probably should have put some pixie spray on the back of my stencil because it does wiggle around because of its long skinny strips so I am going to build my barn and put that one together of course lining this one up is way easier if you flip it over and get it that way to get it straight on there at least to me it is and then I'm going to add the little base piece here so the chicken coop is up and off of the ground. And then using the railing for that one, I am going to use that as my chicken coop stairs. But then for my chicken coop door, I don't want the big barn door. So my chicken coop has like, I don't know, three doors and a window. But each each side has a door of some sort or a window. So I kind of wanted to keep it in line with what our coop looks like. And so the one that the chickens actually come out of is just one single little door off to the side. So that was kind of how I built my chicken coop for my cart. So I just came in with a piece of scratch paper using that straight edge on the bone folder to kind of fold up those little windows, or the little window flaps, just because they don't fold very easy, at least not for me. So using that one for my stairs, I'm going to put the stairs first off to the side, and then I will put down the door for my goop. And then adding that weather vane to the top. I did glue the back side and I should have just glued the front side because I was like, oh, I'm putting this back behind so it doesn't stick up quite so far. And then once that was done, I needed to color images and figure out the rest of my cards. So I set the first one aside. I actually did some, I don't know if I even got footage of that one. So I'll get back to that one. This is actually the second card. So I brought in a Sarcastic Chick from Tailored Expressions here. And instead of coloring it, I decided to do some ink blending. I have the die cut for this one, so I just thought this would be a fun, different look than I usually do. I kind of enjoyed this one, just kind of giving it some ink blended, you know, I don't know, just an ink blended color on this one. Coming in with that red again. I'm just going to give it red feet. I know, not too traditional. Usually my black, well, I shouldn't say that because my new black ones, which are sex links, have yellow feet. But my old black one, which is an ass flop, maybe, I'm probably saying that one wrong. I'm for sure saying that one wrong. But my other black one actually has black feet and a black feet. So... Uh, you know, I did do some masking just so I can come in and add some orange to the beak on this one. I probably could have masked off the feet or done the feet in orange, but I don't like coloring with my alcohol inks on top of Distress Oxide because you could ruin the nib. And so, because of the pigment. So I just went with the red on this one. I really didn't think it was that big of a deal. And there's me looking for the die cut. I'm like, I just had it. I totally just had it. You know where it was? It was back in the package because it fell out. And I was like, oh, I'll put it back there so I don't lose it. <clears throat> yeah. That's how it goes. I did spray it with a little bit of water. Of course, I got a big water drop. And then I came back in with a little bit of a finer mist to give it a little bit more you know, the distressed textured look. And I wasn't 
totally in love with how my super dark ink blending covered up all of my lines. So I did come in with my black jelly glaze pen here and I outlined, followed, I just followed the stamp lines for this one. Nothing special. I'm just going over all of the stamp lines, trying not to put my finger in the wet jelly roll. So it does have a slight raise to this one and a little bit of a gloss to it, except for where I spritzed it with that big drop of water. Probably because my paper was still wet and so it soaked in. I don't know, it was kind of weird. And then I brought in this, I thought, white jelly glaze pen, but I think it's supposed to be more of a clear jelly glaze pen. And I didn't realize that until I was like, oh, well, and it doesn't say clear on it. I think with the distress, but I think it's like a milky, it's not white, it's weird. So then I brought in my white jelly pen and added some white dots just to give it a little bit more, you know, of that, a little more texture. So I'll set that one off to the side and then I'm going to come back to my panels. So I have some Farm Fresh paper from, I think it's from Doodlebug Design. I will look it up and make sure I list it properly down below. I'm just using my, whatever was left on my ink blending brushes from when I made my chickens to add a little bit of color around the edges there. So I didn't want my panel to be stark white of my pattern paper. And so just coming in with that light hand kind of just gives it a little bit of color, but it really doesn't take away from my ink blending through the stencil if that makes sense. I could have done it on probably a colored piece of cardstock because it was oxides, but they would have sat on top. But I kind of love that vintagey, I don't know, it just gives me that farmhouse feel for this one. And so I'm bringing in another Stamp Timber exclusive stamp set that I had to have. Of course, it was the chicken one from Whimsy Stamps. I don't know if this one was last year or the year before. I don't know if I've used it yet. So this was probably the first time I pulled this one out as well. And with my anti-static powder tool from Tailored Expressions and then my Brutus Monroe Alabaster White embossing powder and of course some Versa Mark ink to do a embossed sentiment here. And I kept this one super simple. I just kind of wanted it to be, you know, basically I didn't want to cover up all of that ink blended panel on the background. And so I kind of wanted to keep it super simple here. Now, my panels didn't turn out 100% great. They just, I had a, a stencil shift on this one. I wasn't totally impressed with my stamping on this one. But you know what? It really doesn't matter in the end because you don't see those flaws. You see the sarcastic chick on front and the little saying and the rest just kind of blends into the background. So don't be, I don't know, too hard on yourself if it doesn't look perfect. I'm bringing back in that whimsy stamp set and just using the just chicken in and that basket of eggs just to kind of finish up the inside. It ties the inside to the outside. I'm going to add a little bit of dot detail to the eggs. I didn't want to color them all the way, but I wanted to do a little bit something. So the pet that poops breakfast and the inside says just chicken in. So kind of an, an everyday card. So for my second one, so I'm going to bring all of that back in that I had set off to the side to dry. And then I am, I did die cut both of my panels from, I want to say the second one in the large panel, stitched panels from Lawn Fun. So yeah, I drop it. I get ink everywhere. And I would have maybe put this one back on top and kind of dried it, but it tends to leave like a, a film and I didn't want that. So I was like, well, I'm putting it on a panel anyway. So I brought in my card base quick and then I'm going to add a little more glue, but you know, dried and set that one back on top. Now, I also forgot to ink around the edges. So luckily for me, one of the two panels was fairly centered. And so I just brought that in, set that over the top so I could add my ink blending around the outside. <laughs> it, it, 
it's what you do when it doesn't, you know, you're forgetful like me. I did bring in a little bit more ink there to add a little bit more of a distressed look. And then I'm going to start with my barn. And yes, I forgot about my flooring or like my, I guess, ground on this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I did just stamp the chicken from the, I think it's the sim more simply animal, more simple critter add-on. Simply celebrate more critters and sayings add-on. So I didn't use the add the saying add-on, but I did use the more critters. And I just stamped that chicken, colored it, and then hand cut it out because I wanted it to poke out of the window of the chicken coop. So in my coop, there are rods for them to sit on. And so when they get bigger, they will come down from, they're still standing on the rod, but they will bend down and look out the door. It's, yep. Yeah kind of funny when they do it. So I did remember to grab the base here before I set down my barn or my coop. And then this way I can add the coop on top so it looks like it's on the ground. It covers up some of those chickens I wasn't totally impressed with on the bottom of my panel here. See, it's all about placement. And then I'm going to bring in that little cute baby chick from the Hey There stamp set from Lawn Fawn and the Mama Chicken. I probably overthought on my chickens forever here because I wasn't happy with any of the chickens that I had in my stamp stash because none of them look like my background chickens. And then I realized, you know what? It really doesn't matter. You're overthinking it. Yeah, I was. And then for this one, for the sentiment, I also did some heat embossing on my, I think it's barn red cornstalk from close to my heart. And I just did the hanging with my peeps. And I set that off to the opposite side of my coop. I think it gives it a little bit more balance there. And then I have the little chicken hanging out from the chicken coop door and the two that are on front joining the rest of the flock in the background. And there is my two completed cards and I did stamp the same thing in my second one as I did the first one just to finish it all off. I hope you have an amazing day. Thanks for joining me. Bye!